Good evening. Good evening. Hello. 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 Hi, Hi Kenya. Kenya. Hi, Alison, Rene. Welcome, Lester and Mariana. Thank you very much for joining. Thank Welcome you. to the class. Okay, how are you? How are you doing today? ¿Cómo están? How are you? Just give me one. Okay. I'm tired. I'm really I'm tired. tired. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But, well, this is just, you know, ya es lo último, ¿verdad? Del, del, del día, ya casi terminamos, right? Okay, but thank you. Thank you for being here. And gracias por, por conectarse, ¿verdad? Y por estar en la sesión. So, uh, hopefully, the rest of your classmates will join us through the meeting. And, well, today, um, what, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm going to do is, uh, because I, I told you that yesterday, right, is that uh, we're going to talk a little bit about regular and irregular verbs, and we're going to try to cover, you know, more topics from the, from the platform. Uh, hopefully, um, we're going to clarify, you know, some doubts from um, regular and regular verbs. And then also we're going to talk a little bit about used to, ¿verdad? Vamos a hablar un poquito de used to and uh, vamos a continuar con los, eh, con los temas de la plataforma, ¿ok? Eh, para que queden, pues, eh, si tienen alguna duda, pues, clarificar esa duda, ¿ok? Así que let me go ahead and start. But just let me do something here very, very quickly. Let me add just some information here in the PowerPoint presentation. So, very good. I'm going to start sharing my screen. Uh, but in the meantime, while I'm, you know, loading all the tools here, tell me, what do you remember from yesterday's class? What do you remember from yesterday's class? What did we what did we review? What did we study? Mm -hmm. Volunteer? No volunteer? Um, we study about the yes or no or no questions mm -hmm. and the information questions too. Excellent, very good. Can you give can you give me an example? Um yes. Very good. I went to the mall today. Mm -hmm. I didn't go to the mall today. Did I go to the mall today? Okay, that those are examples of simple past. And yes, that question, uh, did I go to the mall today? Right? It only has two options. Yes or no, right? So yes, I went to the mall or no, I didn't go to the mall, right? So, or yes, I did or no, I didn't, okay? Those are yes, no questions, right? But also we were saying that we have um, information questions, right? And like, for example, why did you go to the mall, right? Porque fuiste, si no, no me habías dicho, no, había, no ibas a comprar nada. Why did you go to the mall? Or, or um, why did you buy that blouse? Ah, because I have, you know, um, I have a meeting and I want to wear that blouse for that meeting, et cetera, right? So when we ask information questions, generally we use WH words, right? Like why or where or when, right? Who, et cetera. Good job, okay? But yesterday also you were telling me that you had um, some, uh, you wanted to have, um, you know, regular, any regular verse, uh, clarified, right? So I told you that today we were going to start with that particular top, with that with that specific topic, right? And we're going to um, talk a little bit about past simple with regular verbs. As I was saying before, uh, yesterday, we got regular and irregular verbs, but uh, with regular verbs, it's easier, it's más fácil porque todo lo que tengo que hacer es aplicar ciertas reglas a los verbos, right? Hay unos que son regulares, Irregulares que esos ya habíamos dicho, you have to learn them by heart, right? De hecho, yo les compartí a ustedes la lista, ¿verdad? Les compartí una lista eh, básica en la que ustedes pueden, pues, revisar ahí el past simple of some irregular verbs. But what happens when I have regular verbs? Okay. Some of them, okay, to some of those verbs, all what you have to do is to add ed, right? All what you have to do is to add ed to the verb, 
because um, they end in consonant, right? Consonant sound, okay? And we have some examples como clean, cleaned, rain, rained, walk, walked, work, worked, need, needed, finish, finished, right? So we have to be very careful with that because if the verb, okay, those are some examples, right? But if the verb ends in E, all what we have to do is to add the letter D only at the end, right? For example, dance, danced, decide, decided, cause, caused, force, forced, assume, assumed, analyze, analyzed, right? So if the verb ends in E, all what I have to do is to add D to the verb, okay? So those are rule number one and rule number two, okay? Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes. Okay, very good. Bueno, es, yeah. espero que, no sé quién fue quien me pidió este repasito rápido ayer. Está por acá. I don't, I don't remember. ¿Quién me mencionó lo de regular y no regular? Ojalá Rocío. esté Rocío y está Rocío acá. Rocío, are you here with us? No la veo honestamente. Eh, let me check very quickly here. Um, Well, it seems that no me ha escrito, pero no escucho que esté por acá. Okay, bueno. Very good. So, let's see. Uh, then we got rule number three, right? So, verbs ending in consonant plus Y, they changed Y for IED, right? For example, okay? For example, you got try, it ends in Y, but... Before the letter Y, we have a consonant, right? Tried, it means that if I have this combination, a consonant plus Y, all what I have to do is to change the letter uh, Y to a, a letter I, well, the vowel, the vowel I, and then ED, I add ED. So try, tried, cried, cried, a study, a studied, right? So if I have the combination of a consonant plus the letter Y, I have to replace, right? I have to remove the letter Y and add the letter I. Copy, copied, right? Mary, married, apply, applied, right? So that's when we have consonant plus Y. Now, it's different when I have verbs ending in vowel. Right, so vowel, uh, well, you know the vowels, right? So we got A, E, I, O, U, right? So we got, um, if we got a vowel plus the letter Y, all what we have to do is to add ED, right? No solo porque termina en Y, voy a ir y voy a cambiar la Y por una Y latina, no, right? So I have to be very careful. I have to pay attention to the combination, right? If it is a vowel, before the letter Y, or if it is a, the, if, if there is a consonant, right? So played, played, right? I don't have to modify that. All what I do is to add ED, stayed, stayed, right? And employed, employed, right? So all, all what I have to do is to add ED, okay? So this is rule number, this is rule number four. And last, we got this. When we got one syllable verbs ending in consonant plus vowel plus consonant, we need to add an extra consonant and ed. Como así, teacher. Eh, okay, let me see if I can um, type something here. Si ustedes gustan, yo les puedo compartir esta información a través del chat. No hay problema. Okay, so we got this. Es como una fórmula, diría yo. C, E, C, ¿ok? Cuando yo tengo esta fórmula, consonant plus vowel plus consonant, 
all what I have to do is to duplicate the last consonant and then I add ed, right? So don't forget that, okay? So consonant plus vowel plus consonant. And we got the first stamp, the first example is stop, right? Stop, stopped, right? Drop, dropped, plan, planned, chat, chatted, right? So it's like we have to be careful no solo dejarlo así, ¿verdad? Y agregar ed, we have to duplicate the last consonant and then we add ed to the verb, okay? So pretty much um, that's about the, uh, about irregular verbs, about regular verbs. Do you have any questions? Preguntas? Preguntas, chicos? Any question that you may have? Just let me clear my drawings here, okay? No questions? Si ven que de repente muevo para acá y para acá es porque aquí tengo un monitor donde lo veo ustedes y aquí tengo la, la presentación, okay, en la computadora. Okay, so now we're going to talk a little bit about irregular verbs, okay? Now with irregular verbs, they don't finish in ED, right? So some verbs are irregular and they don't finish in ED. So we, we have some examples, right? So we got begin and the simple past is begun, right? Break, broke, bring, brought, buy, bought, catch, caught, come, came, do, did, drink, drank, find, found, get, got, go, went, have, had, no, new, leave, left, make, made, meet, met, paid, paid, say, said, sell, sold, write, wrote. As you can see, any of these end in ed, right? So any of uh, any of these uh, verbs end in ed. So the reason why is because um, there are no specific rules, como en los regulares, que si tengo esas cinco reglitas que yo puedo utilizar para convertirlos en pasado, irregular verbs, they don't have rules, okay? Eh, por eso les compartí la lista para que usted pueda memorizárselos, right? So it says that these verbs don't follow the rules, right? You need to memorize them, okay? But you already have a list que ya les compartí, okay? ¿Hay alguna pregunta, chicos? Questions? Oops. Questions? Exactly, exactly, Rocío, así es. They change completely. Si usted se fija, Rocío, you can go to the chat, go to the chat, and uh, I think you will be able to find a, um, a list that I shared with you, okay? You can go ahead and check it. And, uh, or if you want, you can print it. I prepared that list. So you can print it and you can carry it with you. And de repente tiene tiempito libre, pues you can start memorizing them. Uh, simple past is very important, right? Uh, lo más importante es tener el vocabulario de los verbos para poder expresarnos en pasado correctamente, right? Okay, so any other question? Any other question? No más preguntas. Okay, thank you, Carla. Thank you. You can type it in the chat if you want. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, about the... Um, about the platform, guys, I wanted to know if there was, you know, any any question. Quisiera saber si ya, pues, han avanzado en sus ejercicios, si han encontrado alguna dificultad, right? Eh, pueden hacérmela saber, ¿verdad? En este momento. Si no tengo yo, pues, material ahorita al respecto, pues, con mucho gusto les preparo algo, así como hicimos con regular and irregular verbs, ¿ok? Uh, I just want to say uh, I'm Lester. Hi, Lester. Uh, I, I can log in uh, to the platform. You can? No, uh, I can. Bye. Even, even. Okay, very good. Pero no sé si usted fue quien me, me dijo. Oh, no sé si yesterday, yes. Yes, I was. 
ya. Porque eh, yo lo reporté, pero si usted lo vamos a reportar ahorita. Permítame. Bye, hágame un favor, eh, Lester, can you please um, type your full name in the chat, your full name and your phone number right now. Full name and your, and your full, uh, phone number. Ok. Uh -huh. Voy a esperar que me lo, que me lo, que me lo Déjeme ver eh, qué puedo hacer al respecto. Permítanme un, un minutito, ok. Give me one minute. I'm going to. Okay. Solo déjeme ver qué le pueden ayudar a Lester. Give me one moment. I'll be right back. Give me one moment, guys. Uh, aparte de Lester, besides Lester, alguien más que tenga problemas con eh, la plataforma? Nadie más? Give me one moment. Para que me le ayuden, si es posible, ya. Permítame esto. Ok. Thank you. Y solamente quiero ver el screenshot que usted me mandó. Ya lo compartimos, es la que nos puedan ayudar pronto. Aquí está. Ok, sorry. Ok, but I needed to do that. <laughs> Antes que se nos vaya a olvidar. Thank you very much. And I got the chat here. Ok, very good, excellent. No problem so far. Now we're going to move to the next uh, topic that you will find in your platform, right? And that is used to. Now, yesterday, um, one of you, you know, told the class what used to means, right? So do you remember uh, what we said about used to yesterday? 
What do you remember? Okay, hi teacher and classmates. Uh, we use used to for talk yes. about past habits. To talk about, I'm sorry. To talk about um, past habits. Past habit, very good, that is correct, okay? Thank you, Kenya, that is correct. We um, we go ahead and use, used to, right, to talk about past habit, things that we don't do anymore, okay? So um, I, I have some information here for you. Give me one moment, let me move this here. It says, you can say, I used to have, I used to live in, etc. right? In my case, in my particular case, right, I can go ahead and say, I used to have a dog. I used to have a dog, right? Or I used to have uh, short hair. Actually, my hair right now is kind of long because, you know, of this quarantine. Uh, during the quarantine, I wasn't able to go to the, to the, to the salon, right? So it's like I haven't had my my haircut in probably more than six months so i used to have my hair short but now it's long right so it's something that i used to um have in the past or i used to live in for example i can say i used to live in um santa ana but now i live in san salvador which is not true in my case i have lived in san salvador my entire life right so i used to live in santa ana but now i live in san salvador so then um we're going to compare you know past and present right so i can say i used to have a red car and this is very important right whenever you're using used to since the verb is already in the past in the simple past the verb after to is going to be based in base form, okay? So that's going to be, um, I used to have a red car, but I won't say I used to have. No, right, that's not correct. Porque el mismo tú nos dice que lo que viene es un verb in base form, un, un, una forma base del verbo. Presente, now I have a black car, right? Sam used to have long hair. Now he has, short haired short haired i'm sorry we used to live in apopa now we live in san salvador they used to work here now they work somewhere else okay so those are things that we used to to or used to have in the past but we don't have them anymore or they are not part of our um, current habits right now, what happens when I want to express these, um, you know, past habits, but in a negative way or in a negative, in a negative sentence, right? So it says, I didn't used to like tomatoes. Now I love tomatoes. Now I really love tomatoes. So um, uh, in the past, I didn't used to like them, but now I love them, right? Uh, now, if you see, ya el used to, ya no lleva la letter, la, the letter D, right? ¿Por qué? Porque ahora es didn't el que, el que toma esa función. Didn't está diciendo, number one, que ese, pasado, ese hábito pasado está, eh, lo estoy expresando de forma negativa. Y también eso, ¿verdad? Que lo estoy expresando en pasado, right? I didn't used to like tomatoes, okay? So, por eso es que ya no ven la letra D a la parte used to, porque ahora didn't tomó esa función doble función, decir que es negativo número uno y que está en pasado número dos, ok? So, I didn't used to like tomatoes in the past, now I love them. Or Amy didn't used to drive, right? Now she drives everywhere, right? My brother didn't used to study, now he studies a lot, right? So, that's an example of a uh, past habit, right? So, I don't know if you have seen those classmates, you know, that we have at school, right? Um, that were always playing around, they were always having fun, they were always joking, they were always, you know, um, 
talking during the class and they were not paying attention, et cetera, right? So those are, um, you know, classmates that we have. And then you see them, you know, from time to time it happens that they you just come across, you know, um, eh, with those students or with those classmates, right? And you say, como ha cambiado, mira, es que tú solías ser así, esa, pero ahora, pues, eres bastante responsable, etc., right? So it's it, the same is in English, but we use used to, right? So that's a comparison between past and present, okay? So do you have any questions? Questions? So in the in the in the structure the verb always is in the simple form it's in base form forma base base form. base form significa que no ha sido conjugado right okay mm -hmm. always in base form correcto porque used ya lleva d significa que eh, ya está en pasado right and then el to me indica que el verbo que viene entonces va a ser en forma base or base form Prácticamente es como que usted utiliza solo el nombre del verbo, ¿verdad? Have, live, work, like, drive, study, etc. Ok, any other question? Mm -hmm. No more questions? Okay, but if you don't have uh, further questions, I would like you to practice a little bit, okay? But what I'm going to do is the following, okay? Um, yesterday, we went to the breakout room. Some of you were participating, some of you were not participating, but today I'm going to give you some minutes, okay? I'm going to give you probably four to five minutes. It's 9.28. So I'm going to give you some minutes for you to write down or to prepare at least five, at least five habits or past habits, okay, or things that you used to do, but you don't do any anymore, right? You already have the examples. Aquí lo voy a dejar el ejemplo, right? But I want you to share with the class five sentences, right? Eh, para expresar hábitos que teníamos en el pasado o cosas que hacíamos en el pasado, pero que ya no hacemos más, okay? So I'm going to give you five minutes. It's 9.29. And everybody's going to start sharing at night 34, okay? Go ahead. If you have any questions, please let me know. Aquí estoy, ¿verdad? Para cualquier pregunta, okay? Tienen five minutes, okay? Bueno, four to five minutes. Let me know. You can type it in the chat. Uh, whenever you finish, you can type, yes, I have finished. I'm ready. Etc.
if you are ready, you can go ahead and let me know, right? If it, if it, if it took you uh, less time than expected, you can go ahead and let me know if you have already finished, okay? So we can start sharing. I finished the share. Excellent. Thank you very much. Just let's wait for more students to uh, complete the activity. I'm ready, teacher. Excellent. Very good. So let's go ahead and start with the ones that have already finished, okay? So volunteer, you can raise your hand or you just can go ahead and uh, say me. <laughs> Kevin, I mean, Kenya, go ahead. Thank you. Okay, um, about my past habits, I, I used to play basketball, now I can't play because I, I broke my knee. Uh, oh, really? My, you hurt your knee? Bro, bro, yeah. Knee. Yeah. My knee. My knee. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Um, I used to live in San Vicente. Now I live in a Pastepeque. I didn't used to travel other countries. Now I, I want to visit Guatemala. And I am thinking to travel to United States. Hey, wonderful. So that's something that changed with the time right okay very good yes. thank you very much uh, can i follow i'm sorry okay. i i used to watch horror movies now i love action movies uh, and i didn't use to study english now i want to learn too much english Excellent, very good. Thank you very much, Kenya, for your examples, okay? I need another volunteer, okay, volunteer? Okay, you can raise your hand if you want to pass. Si no, pues yo con mucho gusto vengo y escojo a alguien, veamos. Okay, Mariana, go ahead. Okay. I used to play. Um, I didn't used to like read. Now I love read. Reading. I now I love reading, okay, mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Um, I used to have short hair, now I have long hair. Very um, good. I used to go to study at university, now I study at home. Okay, very good. I didn't used to like carrots, now I love carrots. <laughs> very good. And I didn't used to have a dog, and now I have a dog. Okay, great job, Marina. Thank you very much for your sentences. And I think it was Brian. Brian, was it you who wanted to participate? Yeah. yeah. Okay, go ahead, Brian. I used to play soccer in on the university. Now I don't, I don't play anymore. Okay. I used to eat a lot on my grandma's house. Now I eat less. I used to play hide and seek on my childhood. Now I'm all my friends got married and we don't play anymore. You don't play anymore hide and seek, yeah. okay? I used to have a long hair back on the university. Now I use medium short hair. 
Okay. Oh, well, you can just say I used to have long hair, right? Just long hair. Very good. Without the A, long hair. But very good. Thank you very much for your sentences, Brian. Good job. And it seems that you have a very good idea on how to use used to, right? And that section, um, with that, with, with uh, used to, we close section number one, uh, specifically the section where it says statements with used to, no, I'm sorry, questions, right? Questions with used to. So what we're going to do right now, pero por favor, ¿verdad? No se me vayan cuando los pongan breakout rooms, porque es el único momento que tienen para platicar, okay? I have a set of questions, okay? I tengo unas preguntas. I'm going to share them through the chat, okay? Ahí están las preguntas. All of those questions are with used to, okay? For example, what is a food that you used to hate but now you like? In this case, Mariana was mentioning carrots. I was mentioning tomatoes, right? Who used to be your hero when you were young? Or did you used to have a pet, right? Did you used to get good grades in high school or in a school? What used to be your favorite game to play? Well, Brian just said, right, it was hide and seek, right? Where do you, where do you used to play when you were a child? And how often do you used to get in trouble when you were younger, okay? Now, pay attention to the questions in the chat, okay? If you see, um, they follow the structure of simple past questions. And let me go ahead and share that with you. Um, let's see. I'm going to share the presentation that contains that information from yesterday. Okay, it's not this one. It's, I think it's this one, okay. So I'm going to share with you the presentation about past simple, okay? Uh, the same presentation that I was uh, sharing with you yesterday. Okay, and here you have, okay. So it's going to be like this, right? So we said that with past simple, we need a subject, verb in past, and the rest of the sentence or complement, right? And if it's going to be a negative sentence, so it is going to be subject plus the auxiliary negative verb in base form and complement. If it is a question, I know that I need my auxiliary at the beginning, then my subject, the verb in base form, complement, my question mark. Pero si estas son yes, no questions. Si no son yes, no questions, y son information questions, entonces sí tengo que agregar WH words, like where, what, and when. Ahora bien, um, let's see, give me one moment. Oops, sorry. Here you have. Uh, let's go ahead and just clarify this with an example, okay? And that example is going to be from the presentation that I just shared with you, okay? So do you remember some of the examples from the presentation, right? Uh, I don't know if you are able to remember some of them. Hello? Do you remember some of the presentation, some of the presentation, some of the examples from the presentation? No? Yes. yes. Very good. What are those examples? Just give me one moment. It seems that creo um, que... Creo que ustedes van a ver. La presentación que no es. What is the presentation that you are able to see right now? Pueden ver la presentación. Yes. 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 Okay, ahorita creo que yes. no les va a aparecer. Solo déjenme quitar acá esto. And then let's minimize this. And we're going to share it again. And it's going to be this one. Ahí está. Hoy sí. Okay. So um, I was asking, right? The, some of the examples. Uh, that I was showing before, okay? Bear with me. And I have again here, very good. So one of the examples uh, from, the pres from the previous presentation, right, was I used to have a red car, right? I used to have a red car, okay? 
So this could be in the affirmative form, right? So that's going to be affirmative sentence. What about what about in the in the negative form, right? So in the negative form, it's going to be the same, right? It's going to be um, with the auxiliary. So if it's going to be negative, it's going to be I didn't used to have a blue car, blue car, right? I used to have a red car. I didn't used to have a blue car, right? Viene alguien y me pregunta, hey, ¿qué pasó con el carrito azul? Uh, no, but I didn't used to have a blue car. I used to have a red car, but not a blue car, right? Entonces, and the same happens with the questions, right? So um, take a look at the questions that we have in the chat, okay? Let's open the chat, okay, okay. Uh, take a look at the questions. It says, um, did you used to have a pet? Okay, in this case, let's see. Did you used to have a, a red car, right? Did you used to have a red car? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think so, right? And I think I remember it was a red car, but yeah. Did you used to have a red car? Pero qué sucede cuando, porque si ustedes se fijan, esta pregunta es una yes no question. Si me preguntan a mí, did you used to have a red car? Mi respuesta va a ser no. No, right? no I didn't used to have a red car. Ok, o yes, I did, right? Pero si ustedes se fijan, hay muchas, muchas preguntas que tienen ustedes ahorita en el chat que yo he compartido con ustedes que eh, cambian, ¿verdad? Cambian su forma completamente. Ok, pero lo importante, bueno, veamos si encuentro alguna que me pueda servir para el ejemplo. Aquí, where. Esta me sirve perfecto acá. Where do you used to play when you were a child? Si ustedes se fijan, aquí están los elementos. My WH word. Quiero ver la hora. Ok, my WH word where. Luego, my auxiliary, my subject. Y mi verbo, pues ya que va en en base form y luego el resto de mi, de mi pregunta. Pero si a mí me hacen esta pregunta, where do you used to play when you were a child? I would say, I used to play in the garden. Okay, or in the yard, right? In the yard, uh, close to my house, right? Close to my house or in my house, no sé, ¿verdad? Close to my house or in my house, okay? I used to play in the yard, close to, close or in my house, digamos, in my house, okay? Entonces, no es una yes or no question. Yo estoy buscando algo específico y es where. Y ese where es in the yard, okay? Así que, eh, let's go ahead and um, work at least some minutes. Ahí tienen ustedes las preguntas, okay? I'm going to stop sharing here con las preguntas que ya tienen, ¿verdad? Now, let's go ahead and uh, work in the breaker rooms. Let's see. Okay. Hmm, probably, oops. We are 14, okay? So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, ask you to working pairs, okay? Van a trabajar en parejas con las preguntas que ya les compartí, right? There you have the questions, okay? And just let me see. Let's go ahead and do it right now.
No, um, I, I, I have never, I, I never used to, used to have in trouble. All right. <laughs> Two. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, what used to be your favorite game to play? When How I now what, no. what? What? Sorry. How old are you? I'm twenty five. Hello. So you were uh, you were not working with your classmate, I can see. ¿Qué pasó con usted unido con usted la persona? Ah, ya no. Okay, don't worry. Uh -huh. Yo creo que ya faltan unos cuantos segundos ya para terminar. Eh, pero igual la próxima solo en el chat, diga mi teacher no me aparece nadie en el en el breakout room que me asignaron, ¿verdad? Sí. Yo la puedo reasignar, ¿ok? Ok. Excelente. Quiero ver, quizás tal vez la pueda asignarte en unos segundos. Okay, so I can see that all of you are joining um, the main room. So let me go ahead and listen to, uh, you know, some of the things that you learned about your classmates, okay? So Brian, Brian, tell me, uh, who do you talk to? Who, who do you work with? I work with Kenya. Kenya, excellent. Yes. Do you remember some of the habits or things that she used to do in the past, but she doesn't do anymore can you share with us something about her she used to play on the street okay in front of her house okay and he the favorite i think show that she liked to watch was he man oh, okay so she used to watch right he man yeah yeah and he, she was, uh, that she said, uh, Angel, she wasn't a very troubled person back mm -hmm. in time. She used to be a good girl. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. And Kenya, what, what, what did Brian tell you? What do you learn about him? Uh, okay. Uh, his, uh, his hero used to be Batman. He used to be Batman. Oh, his Batman. Hero. Oh, okay. His hero used to be Batman. Okay. Yes. And uh, he had a good grade in primary and secondary okay so he used and to get good grades very good yes he was a very good student excellent very good. i'm sorry <laughs> I forget. that's all what you remember okay no but don't <laughs> worry it's okay thank you very it's much okay. kenya okay and what about you what about you lester who do you talk to to who do you work with uh i was alone <laughs> oh really yeah remember if you if you um 
because what I do is try, I, you know, send you to the breakout rooms, pero aparentemente algunos no se unen, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, avísenme en el chat, ¿verdad? Para reasignarlos en otra, en otra sección para que puedan, pues, interactuar con, con alguien más, ¿ok? Eh, okay. What about you? Yes, I could hear Mariana. Eh, she was uh, working with someone else and they were having a, um, a, a conversation, right? So, estaban ahí... Eh, Bastante enganchadas en la conversación. So tell me, Mariana, who do you talk uh, to and, 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 and what, did, what did the other person say? Tell me. Um, well, I talk with Kenya and Ada. Okay. And... Sorry. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay, Mariana. Don't worry. Okay, who was the other person? I think she said it was Kenya and someone else. I don't remember the other name. Who was working with Mariana? Hi. Ah, okay, there you are. I'm Go sorry. ahead. <laughs> don't worry, it's okay. Um, well, I talked with Ada in Kenya and, and Ada told me told she me? have, stole me, sorry, thank you, mm -hmm. have two kids. And Kenya told me she used to hate onion and now um, she likes it. She likes it. Okay, very good. What else? What did what else did they tell you? Mm, let me see the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Um, Ada used to play baseball and soccer. Baseball and soccer, okay. Yes. She was and, a sportswoman. Yes. And Kenya used to have a pet. Okay. No, she had a pet, uh huh. A three dogs. She, so she she used she no, she didn't used to have pets, but uh -huh. now she has now three dogs. She has three dogs. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Excellent. And what about you? Well, thank you, Mariana. What about you, Ada? What do, what do you remember about your classmates? Repeat me. What do you remember about your classmates? What did they uh, tell you? Mariana told me she used to a pet. A, she used to a dog. She, she used to have. She used to have a dog. Okay. Have a dog. And she used to play baseball and basketball. She used to play baseball and basketball. Well, very good, excellent. And and I could hear that you're using the structure. Very good, okay? Now, with this topic, thank you very much, Ada. With this topic, which is used to, right? Uh, questions with used to, we um, got to the section 1.13, right? So after that, we're going to move to section number two. What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about countable and uncountable nouns. We're going to talk a little bit about expressions of quantity and also indirect questions. Indirect questions is a very interesting topic, by the way. And um, well, these are the topics that we're going to be working on tomorrow. And uh, hopefully we're going to be able to um, move to section number Three. Now, section number three includes the midterm exam. Um, well, let me go ahead and share. I'm going to stop sharing the presentation, and I'm going to. Well, actually, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't sharing the presentation. I'm sorry. Let me go ahead and share the materials very quickly from the from the platform. <clears throat> okay. Uh, As so you can see here, uh, this is uh, your module, right? So we have already worked on all these topics, right? We have reviewed them, simple past with verbi, simple, simple past questions with verbi, statements with used to, right? Uh, also questions with used to. And tomorrow we're going to be working with countable and uncountable nouns, also expressions of quantity, right? and indirect questions. Now, section number three. Section number three includes the midterm exam already, 
Okay, there you have the midterm exam. But for this particular uh, section, which is number three, we're going to talk a little bit about adjectives and nouns, comparisons with adjectives and nouns, right? So if we're unable to finish by tomorrow, most likely Monday we will be finishing, and that week we're going to dedicate it to work with the midterm tests, okay? It, the idea for that week also is to review the topics, right? To clarify doubts, okay? So um, that's gonna be for tomorrow. Well, I'm happy because actually we already finished section number one. So please don't forget to work in your uh, platform, okay? Don't forget to work in your platform. And if you have any question, you can go ahead and let me know through the WhatsApp group or through my email. Eh, recuerden también, como les comentaba hace un momento, eh, me desapareceré en línea a través de WhatsApp porque lo tengo en la computadora, pues si la uso durante el día para trabajar. Eh, but si de repente me ven en línea y no le contesto es por eso, porque si ya está abierto, ¿verdad? Entonces tal vez no, en ese momento no les puedo yo eh, contestar, pero eh, usted déjeme la pregunta ahí que yo con mucho gusto le contesto. Me pregunta Mariana, ¿hay alguna fecha límite para terminar las tres primeras secciones? La, fíjese Mariana que como el midterm exam lo vamos a trabajar en la otra semana, probablemente la otra semana sí sería como la fecha límite. Ahora bien, si hay alguna actividad pendiente, recuerd, recordemos que nosotros hemos comenzado el módulo el 12 de octubre. Y lo vamos a estar finalizando el 6 de noviembre, ¿verdad? De repente, si quedó alguna cosilla pendiente, tenemos hasta el 6 de noviembre para finalizar. La idea es que vayamos completándolo a nuestro ritmo, ¿verdad? Si es posible, pues, si usted se quiere adelantar, no hay ningún problema, puede hacerlo, ¿verdad? De todos modos, pues, los temas los vamos a ir cubriendo en cada una de las sesiones, ¿ok? Así que para las tres primeras sesiones, si quiere ir como al día, Mariana, sería, pues, tiene hasta como la otra semana, por decirlo así, ¿verdad? Eh, para que usted pueda realizar su midterm test la otra semana. Okay, you're welcome. Así que, if you don't have any questions, uh, I will let you go right now. I know that you're tired. I know that you want to rest. Probably you're going to bed right now. Así que, thank you very much for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so good night. Oh, and good, night. good night, everyone. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. -bye. See you. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.